What's poppin' everybody? I hope everybody's having a good Friday night. I'm Mike with the Everything and More Store Show. Now, <clears throat> excuse down. Today, I want to do just something a little bit different. I mean, it ain't too different, but it's a little bit more on the educational side of things. So basically, uh, what I wanted to do was give you guys a few pointers on how to take your photographs, right? <laughs> okay. Now, number one, I'm not saying I'm the photograph expert. Maybe some of my older ones look like SH. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, we all growing and we all showing. You understand me? So, with that being the case, uh, number one, the most important thing is lighting, okay? So, when you're taking your photographs, what you're probably going to want to do is, number one, lighting. So, past the fact that you got your item, your item's clean, you get you like a little, uh, like a lint roller or something like that, right? If you're doing clothes, you get your little lint roller. You understand me? Get all the lint off, straighten them out, flatten them out, Right? So, uh, and then if it's like, say, like shoes, right, then you're going to want to be sure that they're clean and stuff like that. So what I would recommend for that is this right here, the 409 carpet cleaner. Believe it or not, this is great on shoes, right? So the only thing about this is that it doesn't have a, a, a scrubber. So what you want to do is pop the top, spray the whole shoe. You probably want to be outside or somewhere where it doesn't, maybe against a wall, you can wipe it up because it kind of real foams up real big. Then spray it all on her. Let it sit for a second. Get you like a little scrubber, or maybe sometimes you might have the brush for like any of the sneaker heads and stuff like that. Scrub it real good all around the bottom as well. The bottom, I think, is like the most important because if you like see like it's down nasty, they're like, yeah, I'm cool. Anyway, scrub the bottom real good. Wipe it with the rag, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And then bam, dry it out. So that's just clothes and shoes so obviously you just want to prep it right any visible uh you know like price tags and stuff if you can get it off you it's not people's business what your profit margin is if you got something for three dollars and the person is buying it for 40 bucks it you kind of want to keep that profit margin to yourself you get what i'm saying now sometimes it you can't uh you know you can't do that sometimes you can't uh you know have your stuff scrubbed off or whatever it's on the real good you feel like you might damage it or whatever just leave it, whatever, it's all good. Now, now that that's done, your item, your shoes, clothes, whatever you might have, tags off, it's clean, right? Lighting, you want good lighting, number one, set it out. So, if you let's say if it's just the ground that you have to set it on, outdoor lighting, right? Real sunlight, the natural lumens from the sun, okay? Uh, but in the shade, so if that makes any sense. You don't want the sun beaming onto something to where it's creating shadows, like on the ripple effect, but... Like, if the perfect setup, maybe Ehab could do the video, but the perfect setup, because his backyard is perfect, the perfect setup for that is like, uh, it's like a, if you have like a frame, and then you got like a little top on the bottom, I mean a top, uh, a closed top on the roof, but all the sides are open, so he's letting all the sunlight in from all the angles, that's best, right? So even sunlight is good, so you don't want to go to a dark corner where there's maybe sunlight on both sides, no, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you just want to go ahead and get even sunlighting, okay? Uh, you know, of course, you're going to want to do front, back, side, side, sleeves if it's clothes. Uh, if it's shoes, side, side, you know, a front, back, top, bottom, side, side, tag, of course, the soles, whatever. So, uh, and if, you, if you're, let's just say, for example, if there's not an available space in your apartments or wherever you may be uh, to, or however you take your photographs, what I would do is I would probably, uh, most likely get a, uh, some LED lights. Matter of fact, uh, I could probably even put the link in the description. Um, I'm going to get some myself. I'm going to order them tonight, matter of fact. I, I tell, as of right now, I'm taking my pictures indoors in the office, but the, the lighting is good, but I feel like it could just be a little bit better, but it's good enough to do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, uh, so if you're taking it outside, you could just lay out like a little piece of, uh, like, you get a big box from Walmart, the biggest, largest box they got. I want to say it's, uh, I want to say, this thing is stiff. I want to say it's, uh, I want to say it's like two bucks or something. Anyway, cut it, just cut it one slice, like on one of the corners, all the way down. Lay it flat. It should be long and wide. You can lay it on that, you know what I'm saying? Sneakers work real good on that. You just pop it against the wall so it's an all solid background. Um, the only thing that I would photograph, Myself, personally, the only thing that I would photograph with any background would be probably like, uh, I mean, if I could avoid it, would be like a beauty products, like perfume, uh, that type of stuff. And I would only do it with like flowers or some kind of natural beauty. You know what I'm saying? People in their mind, they they correlate beauty with beauty. So if it's a perfume, they're correlating it. Think, how would a photographer take this picture? 
would they put the perfume in front of a trash can and take the picture? No, they wouldn't. If he's working for Gucci and he's doing uh, photographing Gucci bamboo perfume, is he going to put it in front of a, you know, some torn down house with a kitty litter? No, he's not going to do that. He's going to beautify the whole thing and sell it to Gucci. <laughs> so, with that being the case, you're going to do the same thing. So, either take a solid, either solid background, well-lighted, or if you can, get some nice plants in the background with maybe flowers, something, something to that. You got to remember, people correlate beauty with beauty products. So, you're not going to take a picture. Imagine if I had perfume in this, Right? I've been scrubbing shoes with this for who knows how long, right? It's not half gone. Imagine if I had perfume in that. And I said such and such, the news, perfume. You'd be like, no, that's disgusting, right? Now, on the other hand, right? Imagine if I had some sort of cleaning products in this. You would be like, wow, that's a quite a nice, beautiful bottle for a cleaning product, right? So with that being the case, right? You need to beautify these things so people attribute beauty in their mind to that. If you can't do that, solid white background, solid... Whatever the color. So let's just say, for example, if it's a black bottle, white background would be great. If it's a white, 100% white bottle, you can still do a white background, but a different color background that would bring out the color would be even better if you have that available to you. Now, uh, for clothes, right? This is just my personal experience. I have did photos in a lot of different type of ways for the clothing and stuff like that. Well, for all of the things. But from my experience, I think it's easier on you, on your back, all that stuff. If you could get like a little thing against the wall, so you would get these, right? I can't find them. But anyway, you will get some hinges, right? So basically it's like a, it's like two little metal plates and it's like a little thing right here in the middle to where it can go open and close like that, right? You're going to want to drill one to the wall and then drill the other one to like a little piece of very thin plywood, right? Or something to that light. And then you can put it on the wall, right? Like a good, but you want a good one because you can do all different shapes and size of clothing so for example if you have a pair of like big and tall pants three feet's not going to do it you know what i mean so it needs to be more so for example just to give you the example right you will set it out let's say this is the wall the wall right here you're going to drill it on there and so it's both ways and you can swing the board right over the board you're going to put like a little uh whatever the cloth and then you can put notches on the wall i'll give you a play-by-play -play when i do my own but you're going to put notches on the wall to where you can set the other little stick that's going to hold it up or two sticks. It's going to hold it up in place. So instead of being straight up, right, like this, where it's going to kind of like, imagine if I hang my shirt like this, it's going to go like this, right? You want to lay it out like to where you can see all every like aspect. You want to see the logo. You don't want any creases and wrinkles in the sleeves, all that, right? So anyway, you can put it out like that and then you can put like a, a white felt or a white cloth so it doesn't slide on the wood, right? And then you can put it at whichever way you want. You got your LED lighting. So you can basically bam, bam, right? And then you're good to go. That way you could take pictures flat. You could, t you know what I'm saying? It's like adjustable. Now, uh, LED, I'll put the link in the description, inshallah, as long as I remember. Okay. The bracket, the, the hinges, that's easy. You get a Home Depot. It's like a dollar or two a piece. Plywood, Home Depot, dollar or two a piece. You can go get you some screws. You can even do it by hand if you don't have a drill, right? So bam, that's your photograph station. So now, uh, what kind of cloth you want to put? So you got a couple options, okay? Me, I'm like a more resourceful type. Like I, I can get things not, like I have a lot of different stuff from all of my store and things related to my store and stuff from packaging and what have you. So what I, I don't, I didn't even buy anything additional. So what I did, okay, so just to give you a quick little. Okay, so. These these shelves right here, I just use these for shoes, right? But these shelves right here, they're they're they come in like rod, right? And it's like a little cloth like this, right? Well, it's actually designed to have a uh, basically like a uh, like a like a little like a tent thing around it, right? To you know for whatever protect it from the elements, whatever. Well, this thing is like a it's almost it's not felt. It's like almost like a like a biohazard soup material type of thing. Anyway, it comes like this, right? You get what I'm saying? It comes, it's a whole thing. So all I do is I I get those, I buy those all the time. For one, they're, they're cool, they're cheap, but they also, they don't last like forever. Like if you have too many shoes on one, it'll, you know, eventually it'll, you probably got a good like year, whatever run with them. Anyway, if you got one of these laying around, you're great. You could just flatten it out 
make sure everything's straight and you're good to go. You get what I'm saying? You can lay it at a slant. There's a number of things that you could do, but number one, I for sure would use something like this as free. Now, if not, what you can do is you can go ahead and go to, um, let's say like, if so I think some Joanne fabrics closed down. I don't know if all of them did, but you can go to like a fabric store and just get white felt, like solid white felt. Because it's not slippery. You get what I'm saying? And you can put it on the underside. You can wrap it all the way around that um, that wood, right? I, honestly, if it's me, I'm going to do 7 by 8. If you do 7 by 8, excuse me, not 7 by 8, 6 by 7. So you want to do 7 feet long, okay, and 6 feet wide. That way you, ha you can photograph everything perfectly without any type of, you know, whatever, like... You the sweatshirt laid out flat is perfect. You get what I'm saying? Spotlights on it. You got your LED lights on it. It looks great. The the light is neutralized. It's not more in one than the other. So on and so forth. It's stretched out. You're good to go. Jeans. No jeans is gonna be more than seven feet long. You get what I'm saying? So you're at an advantage. Now some people might say, well, why is it gotta be so big? Well, you're gonna edit your photos too. So you don't want any. You want it to not be close to any edge because when you edit your photo, you don't want any other. You know what I'm saying? Like. Let's just say you have it right here. You don't like want this in the background. You don't want this in the background of a pair. Like, why? No, you don't want that. You want to see shoes. You know what I'm saying? You got to remember when, when you see things, your mind processes things a certain way. So uh, I'll give you an example. Like, let's just say you see uh, you see air freshener, right? There's the air freshener right here. And every time the commercial is for the air freshener, they're always, they always, uh, you know, have somebody like going to the bathroom or something where it smells and then bam, they'll be like, air freshener, it's the best for you or whatever their slogan. Automatically, you're going to attribute like, even if you're retarded, you don't have no clue, you would still attribute that to like, oh, yeah, when people go to the bathroom, they use air freshener. You see what I'm saying? So whatever images everything when you're selling something, you want to image that, you want to, you want to project that in the right image. So that's why it's good to have a solid white, solid black, maybe a solid blue, whatever the color that you have that's contrasting the photo, the color of the whatever item you're photographing. That's what you want for your, you know, for your item. So anyway, um, of course, you want to do front, right, sleeves. You can fold over size. It, if it's something, anything other than like a T-shirt, like any type of jersey, any type of specialty shirt, uh, any type of um, uh, uh, cycling jersey, anything of that nature, it's good to just take armpit to armpit and sh top of the shirt to bottom of the shirt. Because a lot of people, like especially cycling jersey, especially a cycling jersey, they're, they're real particular about that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, yeah, so you want to just take the best of photos. Like I said, you want to get your price off. You If you can't, then you can't. That's just what it is. But a few pointers to get your price off. Okay, so uh, number one. So where, where I go, where I get my shoes, what they do is they put the tag right on the inside. It's on the other one, but, and then they write the price on the bottom in a marker or something like that, right? Probably just to avoid any type of in-store discrepancy, whatever. So anyway, so if you can't get that off with the with this, which chances are you're not because it's in a weird spot in this, then what you're going to do is you're just going to get you like a little bottle of, uh, everybody probably has it in their home office, whatever. A bottle of isopropylene alcohol in a rag and just wet it with it, go like that real quick. It's gonna come right off nine times out of ten. You know what I'm saying? So you want to get that off. Um, any like say, let's say specks on the shirt, like maybe like uh, let's say you got like a little piece of food uh, on the shirt and they sold it that way, and then it's either you gotta wash it or you gotta just photograph it like that or figure it out. What I would do is I would take like a wet rag or maybe even a little bit of alcohol on the rag and just scrub it off like just real quick. Let it dry. You don't want the wet spot in the photo because at the end of the day, when you see the photo, that's all you see is the photo. You don't see anything else. You don't see, uh, you know, that it's just what. No, you just see it's a spot. So you automatically in your mind, you're like, oh, that's probably staying up straight. So you're not going to do that. You're going to let it dry. You get what I'm saying? Same with like little lint and stuff like that. They don't have like, it's not like a 3D thing. It's just a one dimensional photo for them on their end. So all they're going to be able to see is something on there. So they don't know, is that a stain? Is that going to come out? Is that not going to come out? They don't know that. So what you're going to do is you're going to get that off too. You get what I'm saying? Um, any loose strings, whatever, snip that. You know, any basic, basically any, 
eyesore, imperfection, anything that may not make the item look as favorable as it does, as it should, or as it could, then get rid of that. You get what I'm saying? Um, take your time a little bit more. Sometimes when you're lazy, it's, it's your, think of it like this. Let's say you're being lazy. You have, let's say you list 20 items a day and you do this six days a week, right? So that's 120 items that you're listing a week, right? So that's what, 440 items you're listing a month. Let's just say you do them all the lazy way. Photographs is one of the most important things with listing, along with title, all that stuff. So how, what are your sales going to be? You know, I want that photograph to look good because that's going to ex show exactly what this item is in its best light. You know what I'm saying? Let's say, for example, right? This shirt, it's a cool shirt, by the way. I like it. Thank you. Uh, let's say, for example, right? You're trying to sell this shirt. You got this sweatshirt. It's called a screenshot, whatever. I think it's an Amazon brand or something like that. So, right? This is just, this is the shirt, right? So it looks cool, like when you see it, whatever. Now, let's just say, for example, I'm trying to sell it, but I just, you know what I'm saying? And then you, this is what you see, right? That's what you see when you when you go to buy it. What, why, would, why would I buy something that doesn't look, that looks trashed? I, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm going to go to the listing that looks good. It looks like it's been professionally composed, right? The photographs look like they've been at least semi-professionally taken. And I can see everything in its best light, the size of this, to that. That, you don't even know what it's like this. You don't even know what it, you don't even know what it is. <clears throat> so, with that being the case, project your item in the best possible light that you can because that's all people have to go off of when they're making a the purchase. All they know is that they don't know any like for us we oh well it's nice it's the, okay they all they have is that photograph so put uh, uh, project that photograph in the best possible light anyway um uh, yeah just you know what i'm saying take your good photographs inside tags that's important as well you want to uh, photograph uh, uh 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 you want to photograph the what they call um the country manufacturer and you also want to photograph the material so if it's polyester or cotton some people care about that so, so you ain't got to go through and answer all the questions. Just photograph it. And that way people can look in the photograph and see exactly what the country manufacturer. They can see exactly what the uh, the, the the materials made out of. Cotton, polyester, elastane, whatever, you, whatever it is. And then you don't have to like answer anything. So anyway, I hope this is beneficial to you. This video was. Um, if it was, please give me a comment, like. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe. That's that thumbs up. You hear me? I appreciate y'all for watching and I'm out. Have a good night.